Well, you definitely don't need me to tell you that it's windy out there. And as the afternoon rolled around, we started to see a lot of those quick moving clouds push in. Now we're going to drop down to those colder temperatures. The 30s tonight, I've been telling everyone cold weather on its way, and it might not be done when you hear about all the other severe weather pushing across the entire country. Now we're really watching the temperature change over the last 24 hours, going from those 70s down to those 50s, back up into those 70s, and we'll see how cold things get with those clearing skies. And those winds should die down on early Tuesday morning for a much warmer Tuesday, at least still in those 70s if not those upper 60s. 72 right now in San Angelo. Everybody else in a combination of 60s and 70s. We're still seeing a few storms pop up across the area, but seeing mostly of those warm temperatures down to the southeast, down in Junction 75, all the way up in uh, Sterling City, 66 in Ozona, eh, 64. So we're still seeing 11 degrees across the entire region. Still pretty normal as far as cooling down is concerned under that high pressure. Those winds definitely helping keep things dry right now. As we see those dew points way down into those 20s, while the humidity indices are also down into those 20s, looking like at the potential for a frosty morning, but definitely very dry weather making its way in. This upper level pattern and the moisture really pulling things off to the east. The blue is going to be the severe weather, and then we're looking at the circulation off the west coast. Going to see another round make its way in by Monday, but we're going to push up into those uh, up into those 90s by Easter. Of course, we're looking at this deep low pressure system really pushing across the entire country, really taking aim at Michigan right now as we continue to see a lot of those storms pushing across to the east of Louisiana. This is going to be two low pressure systems at the same time and then high pressure pushes in at least that ridging and that's going to push us up into the 90s but look off to the west as we see the zonal flow take over by the weekend for some pretty beautiful weather that low pressure system off the west coast going to do the same thing again and we'll see how severe it gets for the rest of the country right now the severe weather outlook really just targeting mississippi and louisiana and when we look at the satellite that's exactly where we're seeing that's a tornado watch being issued with flash flooding but we get a closer look at texas right now we see that circulation off to the north that could cause a few problems, but you see those high winds really pushing in from the from the west. Look at how strong that cloud convection is. They really just develop out of nowhere. Now, over the next 24 hours, we're going to continue to see rounds and rounds of clouds push through very quickly. Not going to see a whole lot of rain as a result. By Tuesday, things are clearing up pretty well, but again, looking off to the west, look at those clouds push in, seeing a stronger line make its way more towards the north of the Concho Valley. Still seeing some of those clouds push in by Wednesday night. Then we're going to continue to see on-off cloud cover as we see some of those storms really erupt around the I 35 really targeting areas like Dallas and Houston. We'll see how severe it gets right now. Pretty early to tell. So tonight, cooling way down into those 30s. Make sure you stay somewhere warm right now. Then tomorrow, kick back on the AC because we're going to jump back up into those 60s. But those winds will finally die down so we can get out there and enjoy it. Now, as we make our way through the last week of March, we're going to see those temperatures gradually make their way up. Look at this. Wednesday, we're in the 70s. By Good Friday, we're up into the 80s. By Saturday, we're getting even warmer. Then by Easter, we're all the way up into the 90s and that's where we're going to stay as those lows finally break from those 40s into those 50s finally pushing up into those 60s feeling more like summer stay tuned we'll have more for the break you're watching k News at five